Yeah. The energetic and strong mother, Yamato. The younger brother who's always in his own little world. Follow us as we karate kick all your daily frustrations away. Asuka's revenge. I'm Kotomi. I got married two years ago, but the other day I decided to get a divorce. That didn't last long. My ex-husband, Hiroki, before we got married, he said to me, Quit your job! But that year, he got a new job and the pay wasn't so good. I wasn't sure if we could make ends meet if I quit my job. But right now, you're not making enough to support the both of us. Maybe in a few years, but I can't quit now. Okay, you're right. I managed to convince him most of the time, but... I changed my mind! Quit your job! He kept telling me to quit my job again and again. Why? Well, he wanted me to take care of his mother. His mother was fine, by the way. She wasn't sick or anything. She had a part-time job and a bunch of friends. She was perfectly fine. I don't think she'd want me around the house all the time either. But for some reason, Hiroki wanted me to go to her house every day and do housework for her. Her house was a 40-minute drive away, by the way. I think he just wants to show off in front of his parents. Mom and Dad are old. You gotta help them out. Then help them yourself. They're your parents. I didn't understand why he was asking me to do all this. And whenever we went to his parents' house together, he always bossed me around for some reason. And his mom, she seemed happy about it. Then, one day, we were at his parents' house. As usual, he was bossing me around. I've had enough. So when we got home, I decided to have a talk with him. Screw you! You can't embarrass me in front of my parents! And I'm doing this for you! They think you're a good wife! And it's all because of me! You should be thanking me! I couldn't believe what I was hearing. He was so annoying. A good wife? I don't really care what your parents think of me. He stopped talking to me after that. He asked me to prepare his father's golf bag before he went golfing. The other day, he told me to go buy a shower head from the store so that his mother could do some gardening. Who does he think I am? I'm not a servant. Look, it's not my fault you don't make enough to support the both of us. That's why I'm still working, you know? But now you're gonna criticize me for not being a good wife? Seriously? I didn't marry you to take care of your parents, okay? You do realize that, right? What the hell is your problem anyways? You said you wanted to start a new family with me. You never said anything about your parents. I didn't sign up for this. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. He apologized to me after that, but... I'm not telling you to put my parents before everything, but... I just want you to be nice to them, that's all! I admit it. I expected way too much from you. For that, I'm sorry, but... I wish you would at least try. He said to me. So all the things I've done for them, I wasn't trying hard enough, is that it? That's not what I said! I replied. Then, he reached into his bag and grabbed a piece of paper. They were divorce papers. Look, I don't want to have to do this, but... If you can't be nice to my parents, then... I don't think I can do this anymore. Marriage isn't just about us, you know. It's a coming together of both families. Is that so? What have you done for my parents, exactly? Nothing, but... You're my wife. I'm your husband. It's just different, you know? I couldn't believe what I was hearing. He can't be serious. He didn't give two shits about my parents. He only cared about his. Then he left for work. He signed his name on the divorce papers and left it on the table on his way out. So, I signed them myself and took them to the city office on my way to work. I guess this is it. <sighs> it was all over. Over the two years, we saved up about $20,000 together. So we're, we were going to start thinking about kids after we reached $30,000. It sucked being broke, but glad I got to divorce him before we had kids together. Good thing I played it safe. It would have been much worse if we had kids. My brother Ryota and his wife Asuka offered to help me move. Better start packing once I get home. Hopefully, I'll be out of the house by the end of the week. I'm sure he won't mind. After all, he's the one that brought After all, he's the one that brought it up in the first place. I knew he was only bluffing, but I didn't really care anymore. I'm going to send some of my stuff to my parents' house for now. I got to the city office and handed in the papers. All done. Well, not really. I still got to move and talk to Hiroki one last time. I went to my parents' house and told them about the divorce. Uh, what? Seriously? What? Seriously? My mom flipped out at first, but... After I told her what happened, she seemed okay. Then I went back home. I wasn't going to tell him about the divorce papers just yet. I'll tell him once I'm out of the house. 
He came home a few hours later, but I stayed away from him as much as possible. We weren't even married anymore, but he had no clue. That night, he came on to me, but I refused. I don't feel like it. And we're not even married anymore, so... If he came on to me, it was definitely a bluff. I knew it. I was right. It was all an act. When he took out the divorce papers, it was still blank. He started filling it in slowly, looking over at me every few seconds. This is your last chance to apologize. He didn't say it, but I knew it was a bluff right from the start. Then he signed his signature, put it on the table, and went to take a shower. Think about what I said to you. Then he left the room. There wasn't much to think about, but oh well. <laughs> the next day, when I was organizing my books... Ah, you're cleaning, huh? Good. Got way too many books anyways. Why don't you throw some of them out? Feels good to get rid of things. Yeah, tell me about it. It felt so good handing in those divorce papers. He was in a good mood, probably because he thought I was cleaning. I think she learned her lesson. That's probably what he thought, but I just couldn't wait to leave this place. Then, the next day, Hiroki had work that day, so I called my brother and his wife to help me move my stuff. Then I texted Hiroki and told him to meet me at this restaurant after work. Meet me at 000 restaurant after work. Then I called both of her parents and told them to meet us there. His mother got there first. She was in a really bad mood. She was glaring at me the entire time. <laughs> she should have told me ahead of time. But when my parents arrived, Oh, hello, it's so good to see you again. Then she turned to me and smiled. Go to me, your parents are here. Say hi. Seriously? By the way, I haven't told her about the divorce yet. Hiroki was running a bit late, so we started eating without him. It was kind of awkward. Hiroki's parents tried to make conversation, but it wasn't working. Then Hiroki's mom went to the bathroom and texted me saying, What's wrong with your parents? They barely talk. And what's with their attitude? Why did you call us out here anyways? But then Hiroki arrived. It was time to put this thing to bed once and for all. Okay, now that we're all here, I got something to tell you. Hiroki and I are getting a divorce. Actually, the papers have already been submitted, so legally we're not married anymore. I already moved my stuff out of the house. I'm taking half of the money out of our mutual savings. What? what? Hiroki's dad flipped out. What the hell are you talking about, Katomi? So I explained everything that happened to him. Then his wife snapped. She was furious, but I couldn't understand anything she was saying. Mom, calm down! Then Hiroki said, That was just a fight we had! I never agreed to this! I thought about it and I signed the divorce papers, but you tricked me! I wasn't serious! You can't just go behind my back like this! I wasn't trying to scare you or anything! I just wanted to see what you would do! You can't just hand them in without asking me! <sighs> then his mom said to my dad, You've got anything to say about this? Your daughter is out of control! <sighs> She's a grown woman, and she can make her own decisions. This is her life, so I've got nothing to say. And Hiroki signed the papers first, right? And my daughter wants a divorce, so... I don't think there's anything else to talk about here. Then Hiroki started begging me to give him another chance. Katomi! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Please forgive me! Please! Then his mom started crying next to him. It was a mess. And he didn't stop there. Look, we were drifting apart! I was having trouble at my new job, but you were there and there for me! I wanted to spend more time with you, but... You were barely home! You were always working! I wanted kids too, but you always said no to me! He just went on and on like this. So this is all my fault, huh? I didn't want to say anything, but... What do you mean we were drifting apart? We were doing just fine, but you never did anything around the house. We both worked full time, but I did all the housework. And why do you think I was working so late? I was trying to make more money for us. It's not my fault you don't make enough money to support the both of us. How many times do we have to go through this? I told you this countless times. You never listen. I told you we didn't have enough money to have kids yet. That's why we were saving up. He couldn't say anything back to me. And another thing, you always tried to make me take care of your parents, and I said no, but you wouldn't listen. That's why I decided to leave you. You just wanted to show off in front of your parents, right? That's all you cared about. What? No, I... Shut up, you know I'm right. Then he started crying. Look, come on, let's not fight. It's only been two years. 
We can still make this work. He started smiling at me. It was creeping me out. Ugh. I looked at him in disgust. Then he snapped at me. Just stop, okay? Stop! Screw this! I'm gonna go to the city office and file for marriage! He said as he ran towards the door. How are you gonna do that? I'm not signing anything. If you forge the documents, that's a felony. He stopped and paused for a second. Then my dad said, We should probably call a lawyer. Hiroki and his parents just stood there in silence. They realized there was nothing they could do anymore. After that, we talked about who gets what. I could have sued him for damages, but I decided to settle. I let him keep all the furniture and house appliances. In return, I kept all the money in our mutual savings account. Hiroki and his parents were devastated, but there was nothing they could do anymore. My parents and I left without saying a word. But then a few days later, Hiroki started calling me again. I kept ignoring him, but then he started calling my house. Stop calling us! If you didn't want a divorce, you should have never signed them in the first place! Call us again, and I'll call my lawyer! After that, he finally stopped calling. Thank goodness. Ah, glad that's over with. Time to move on with my life. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you next time!